This is a demo in oils, and I'm using a Brunei I created in my last week's demo for this class using burnt umber and white with a little bit of blue for the black mixed in with my brown. Um, the acrylic plasticky uh, palette that I'm using is really slippery, so the paint is going to slide down throughout this demo, and I apologize for that. The colors I'm using here are titanium white, cadmium yellow light, I'm going to use Quinn Rose, that's my red that I like to use. Ultramarine Blue is going to be my blue. I'll add Burnt Umber, and that way I can get a nice black with my mix of blue and brown. And see that, that uh, extra binder that comes out with paint? That happens quite a bit with oil, so you can't really control that. I'm going to add a Viridian Green here as well. Now that Viridian green and blue mixed together with a little bit of white and maybe a touch of brown. That's gonna try and that's gonna be my attempt to try and get this kind of a almost a a more turquoisey green, or sorry, almost more turquoisey, an almost turquoisey leaning blue for that background and shadow. The main elements here are I'm using the values that I've created um, in that Brunei. To create values of a color and those colors need to match the same value of the Brunei underneath or under painting. To start with my darkest darks, I'm going to place those in. That's going to be my, my black which is blue and brown mixed together and then for the other parts of the shadow I'm going to mix maybe a tiny bit of a fast dry medium in with my paint to help it speed up and uh, dry quickly in case I need to layer but not much and I'm going to mix a little bit of that blue color to the shade I need it to be or what I think it needs to be and then I'll place a dot of it on top of the Brunei or the underpainting. If I squint my eyes and I look at that Brunei and I can't see that dot, it disappears when I squint my eyes really hard, then I know my value is about right. But if I squint my eyes and I can see the value as being maybe a little bit too light, then I need to darken the color up a little bit or vice versa. So you place that little dot and then you try again until you get the value right where when you squint your eyes it disappears. So you see here on the left it's too dark and on the right it's just right. So I'm going to go back to that right hand color and paint that um, in that shadow. Throughout this painting, I'm just going to continue trying to match the value, even if my color isn't exactly the same as the color in the photograph. For example, my sample photograph for this demo used a turquoise background instead of a bluish turquoise color. And it doesn't matter. I could have painted this background orange or purple. As long as my values were right, I can kind of play with that color a little bit. I just have to match value as I go along and then try to convincingly darken or lighten the color. We're not going to worry too much about color temperature in this demo, but in future classes when I do some more color intensive uh, theory work, I'll go into uh, color temperature, warms and cools. One of the nice benefits of working with oil is you can paint one color or value up to another and then 
blend or blur it later for a soft edge. To create the color of the tea, I'm going to use burnt umber, and then I'm going to mix in a little bit of orange, which is just my yellow and my red mixed together into that brown. And then as I move that tea from the bottom of where that area is up to the top of the tea area, I'm going to make it more orangey and less browny. And at the very rim around the edges of that tea, it's going to be almost solid orange. And that way it makes it look like the there's that surface tension of the tea against the cup so that the tea is actually clinging to the edges of the cup. Being a painter is really all about hyper observing. So taking care to notice how relationships between shapes and objects work with each other. In this situation where I have the tea, I also have a white cup that looks blue on the outer edges because of the blue of the ground. And inside the cup, that white is impacted by the tea a little bit so it's kind of a warm brownish gray it's not blue in there but there might be a little bit of blue to dull down the gray a little bit and for my oval around the rim of that cup i don't have to do one solid line i can that's one way to do it but another way to do it might be to instead do a series of little straight lines all the way around the edges it might give it a little bit more life and you could smooth it out a little bit later if you need to I talked about how to create these little gleams of light for the highlights in my last demo, which was the Brunei. I have a link to it at the end of this video. Next week, I'm going to do something completely different and talk about drawing for painting, where the drawing is a little more simplified to ease into the painting process itself.